What's going on, guys? Brand new video here today. All right. Today, I'm showing you how to add the Chris Move Cyberface to your game. Okay. I have the link to the download files in the description. So go beneath this video, look in the description, click the link, download the files. I'm trying to break this down as easy as can be because um, sometimes people get upset that I don't explain things that they don't know how to do, but other people know how to do. So I'm trying to break this down for everybody to get this. All right. All right. Once you have the files, wherever you downloaded them to on your computer, you need to go to them. You need to right click on them and you need to extract the files. There'll be three files. Okay. Extract files here. Some people will have WinRAR, which they can extract with. Some people have seven zip. I use seven zip. It's a program. If you don't have it, that's okay. Just right click, click extract here. All right. I have three new files on my computer now. I'm showing you. It's called png2839.if, face2839.if, and created players. The created players file is for your 2K game. If you want Chris Moon, if you want to assign him to any roster, you're going to need to follow the following steps that I'm going to show you, okay? You don't have to use any other tool, just the game and these files. All right, so the next thing you want to do is you're going to need to pull up your Steam folder, wherever you have Steam installed, okay? So I have it on a different drive. It's not on my C drive. It's on my F drive. So I'm in the Steam folder right now, as you can see. So if I go to F drive, I'm in Steam. Then I go to user data. If you have more than one user, you need to figure out which, you know, which user account you're using. I'm using that one. And this is the part I can't remember. Um, I believe NBA 2K17 will be the folder called 385760. Let's see. Yeah, it is. So on yours, in your folder, after you select user data, then go to your user account folder. This is my user number. Then it'll be folder 385760. It should be the same for you. I don't know, but it should be the same because that's NBA 2K17 folder. Then it should have a local folder and a remote folder. And also this remote cache.vdf file. Yours will probably not have this remote too. That's just a folder I made up for my own personal use. All right. So then you will need to go into your remote folder. All right. Once you're in your remote folder, this is what you can't have the game started at this point. You need to find your created player file. So mine is in a specific order. That was the last file saved. So let's say yours is in a different order or something. You just need to find it. You know, you organize it by name. It should be somewhere at the top. Created players. Here you go. So what you need to do is if you have a group of created players in your game that you created and you want to keep that list, you need to move this file to your desk, uh, no, not to your desktop, because on my desktop I have the other file. You need to move it to another folder, basically. So for me, that's where my other folder, the remote two folder, comes in handy. I created that remote two folder just for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click created players. I'm going to copy the file. And go go back, go to my remote two folder. If you don't have a remote two folder, now you can create one. Or you can create, it doesn't have to be called remote two. You can just create any new folder. You can just say folder, name it placeholder or something. So I went into that new folder I created. And now I pasted my created player file in there. Now back out, go back to remote. And this created player file that you just copied over to your new folder is now you have a backup copy. So what we're going to do is going to go back to the files that we downloaded. Find the created player one that we downloaded and extract it. 
and move it into this folder. It says, do you want to replace it? Yes, you copy and replace. All right, at this point, um, now you need to move the, the actual Cyberface files into the game. So now, as far as your created player stuff, you're done. Okay. So when you open up the game, Chris move is going to be in your created player list. He's going to be the only person there. All right. So then, so let me go to 2k 17 and you would go to your modded folder. Give me a second here. So go to your modded folder. As you see, I have mods already assigned. But get the PNG 2839.if file and the face 2839.if file and put it into this modded folder. Again, I've explained the modded folder in a previous video. Um, if you don't know which video that is, just look for a video on my channel called the one tool. It's, it's something like the one tool that you need for modding 2K17. And that's how you get the modded folder. You have to watch that video. Okay. But anyway, so now that we've put those, those two face files, the face and the PNG dot ifs into the modded folder, the face will show up in the game. Now I've done all of this without my game being on at this point, I'm going to pause the recording and get my game loaded up. So you guys can see what happens next. All right, guys, we're back. So now that we're in the game, we want to go down to options slash features. And then we want to go to create a player. Now, when we go to create a player, only Chris Smooth is there. And yes, his rating is only an 83, but you can change that. In my game, he's an 83. I based his stats off of one of his attribute update videos. I put exactly what he had and it came out to 83. Okay, so when you get in the game, he's already going to have a face assigned. He's already going to have, um, I put his college as Florida because his old videos, he used to be go to uh, Florida. But anyway, so everything is assigned already. If we go down to gear, you can see his gear is already assigned. He will be wearing Jordan brand shoes. You can change that to any brand that you want. You can put a pair of modded shoes if you want. Um, his attributes will already be there. You don't have to do anything. The animations will already be there. I'm not sure about the badges, actually, now that I think about it. Because I, I didn't see a badge update in that video that I watched. So you guys can assign the hot zones and the badges yourself. I'm, all right. So I'm just going to back out of this. There you go. Chris move is now in your game. So all you have to do is just go to whatever roster you want him on. And let's go to a roster. I'll just go to my fake roster and go over to created players. And then you can copy him to free agency or copy him to a team. Whatever you want to do. All right. So now let's back out. Let's back out of this. So let's say you actually have a my league going. I don't know if you can import draft classes to my GM. I haven't played my GM enough. And I really don't care. So if you want him in my league, you have to do it through a draft class. So you can create your draft class or you can edit a draft class. Let's say you already have a draft class. Let's look up uh, 20, the 20, what is it? 2017 draft has already passed. So let's look up 2018. Let's see if there's one. Here we go. 2018. So I'm just going to use this one as an example. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care what I name it. All right. This draft class. Is not a real 2018 class. It sucks. Whatever. But anyway, so you can 
if you just on the screen, if you hit your left, I, I don't know what button it is for you guys, but my my L2 button on my controller, it takes me to creative players. If I hit R2, then it takes me to the draft class. So I go to creative players and then I just I copy him to the draft class and then I select the player I want to overwrite. Just overwrite anybody. Now he's in the draft class. Oh, wait, what's going on? Chris Smooth. The picture didn't change, but it is Chris Smooth. It will change. So, all right, so there we go. So now all you have to do is just save this draft class and upload it to your My League. And then Chris Smooth, you can draft Chris Smooth in the next draft. All right, for you guys who are going to ask me about. What about my career? How do I use them as my career? How do I do that? All right. The next part is for you. So I hope you guys are watching this entire video before asking any questions. Oh, shoot. All right. So I'm going to pause the video again and I'll be back after this loads up. All right, guys we're back so i'm showing you an offline my career because i do not want to mess up my online my career so don't ask me why he's wearing his team jersey it's because this is an offline my career i'm not willing to mess up my online my career all right so once you're there you want to get into the screen where you can look at stats go to player stats and then find your player and Here's my player all the way down here. He sucks. Well, anyway, I already have Chris Moves face assigned. And it doesn't assign the um it will not assign the gear like the headband and all of that. This method that I'm about to show you just assigns the face, okay? You have to put the gear on them in my career yourself. It's your career. All right. So here we go. So once you have him highlight it now you will actually need a different tool an external tool you can use limb no notes trainer if you guys don't know what that is then you're gonna have to google it sorry guys so i pull up limb no notes trainer I press f1 i go to read highlighted player it has my player's name there then i go to attributes and there i can change my last name and if you watch as i change it in the tool it will change in game Change the name to Smooth. The name is Rocky Smooth right now. Then I change the first name to Chris. Now it's Chris Smooth. Then go all the way over to Face ID right here. And whatever yours is, it's probably going to be a number one if you have a creative player face. Just change it to 2839. And refresh roster list. And your picture might not change in game but the player's face will change all you have to do at that point would be to you would need to just back out of the my career you would press exit or you know what let's see yeah you would press exit and it should save the face and when you come back into my career it should have Chris Smooth's face at that point. If it doesn't, then just close the game, reopen it, and then load my career, and it should have Chris Smooth's face. All right. I've um, I've tried to give you guys everything I could explain. Oh, and let me explain one more thing. The reason why his face ID is two three eight nine. Also, guys, make sure you close them. No, no strainer after you use it. But back to what I was saying. The reason why his face ID his uh, Cyber face ID number is 2839 is because when the original files, they were PNG 2839.if and face 2839.if. That 2839 is the cyber face ID number, okay? You can change that or whatever. That's not what this video is about. I'm just explaining this particular face. All right, so. Uh, we've reached the end of the video for you guys who want to know 
wait a minute, how do I get my other creative players back? How do I do that? How do I do that? All right, all right. Uh, what you want to do is, after you've assigned Chris Move to whatever roster, draft class, or my career, if you're assigning him to my career, you shouldn't even go through this creative players process, okay? That's, anyway. So if you did move the creative player file, this is what you do. You want to pull, pull back up that, um, that folder. Let's see. Here it is. You want to pull back up that folder that I told you to go to steam user data, then your user ID number, then three, eight, five, seven, six, zero and remote and this is while you have the game turned off. So now that you've moved Chris move to whatever roster you want him on, blah, blah, blah. You want your old created player list back. Cause maybe you have a few created players that you still want to assign to teams. So now you can just delete, delete the created player file with Chris move in it because you can download it anytime. You can come back to this video anytime and figure out how to do it. So now that we deleted it, Remember, we put it, we put the original created player folder in a new folder in this placeholder. So go get that one, press cut, go back to remote and right click, paste it back in. So, so now there's our original created player list. So now when we restart the game, it'll have all of our original created players that we had, but it won't have Chris move anymore, but Chris move will already be assigned to whatever roster or drive class you want him in. So that's the complete tutorial. That is the complete tutorial. Um, if you guys have any questions or any problems, I'm open to answering questions here, but just know I can't get to every question and I won't be able to make a video on how to answer every question. So that's how you do it. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it. I really would appreciate it if you guys shared it, if you do like it, but a thumbs up is good enough. And if you guys want me to release more faces like this to where you can just get them in the creative player pool and just assign them to any team, if you guys want me to start doing that instead, or if you want me to do that when 2K18 rolls around, just let me know in the comment section. You guys have to comment and let me know if that's a good idea or a bad idea. Otherwise, I'll just do whatever the hell I was doing anyway. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed more videos coming soon.